Today we're going to do a place value scramble. So they're giving you these numbers here in this box, 6, 3, 5, 9, 4, 1. And down here they're going to give us clues to figure out what order we will put these numbers in in each of these spaces. So they're all going to be different. It says using the numbers in the number bank, create different six digit numbers based on each of the place value clues below. So this one is a little trickier than some of the other ones. That's why we're doing it together. But go ahead and try it on your own. Write your answers in pencil. That way if you make a mistake and then you listen to the answers, you can go ahead and fix it. I will explain to you why it is a certain way because some of them are confusing even to me. Okay, so push pause if you haven't tried it on your own first. Go ahead and write your answers and then when you're ready, push play because I'm going to go through the answers now. So the first one says, what is the smallest six digit number you can make? So this one is easy. You're going to look at these numbers and you make the smallest number you can make. So basically we're going to start the smallest number, which is one, and then put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So we'll go one, three, four, five, six, nine. That's your answer for the first one. One, three, four, five, six, nine. The second one says, what is the largest six digit number you can make? So now you're doing the opposite. You're gonna flip it. Just do the opposite of what you did for number one. So it will be nine, six, five, four, three, one. Those two are pretty easy. Now number three is a little trickier. What is the smallest digit, six digit number you can make that has a four in the tens place? So we have to find our tens place. So this is our ones place. This will be the tens place. Hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So we're putting a four in the tens place. And then our number is going to be the same as number one, but because the four is over here, we're gonna to have to shift them around a little bit. So it will go one, three, the same as the first one, but then you're gonna go five, six, four, nine. So you put the four in the tens place. So again, number three is one, three, five, six, four, nine. Number four, what is the largest six digit number you can make that has one in the thousands place? So now you have to look again, number four. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So in the thousands place, we're putting the number one. Did I go backwards again? It's tens, hundreds, nope. There's a one right here. Now other than that, this is going to be the same as number two. We're just going to have to flip-flop some numbers around. So this one will be nine, six, and then the one, because we put that there, and then five, four, three. So that's number four, nine, six, one, five, four, three. Number five, this one's even trickier. What is the smallest six-digit number you can make that is divisible by five? Do you guys know the secret? From multiplying and dividing by five, it either has to end with, there's two numbers it can end with to be divisible by five. Because when you count by fives, you say five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So all those numbers end with either a zero or a five. We don't have a zero in our number bank, but we do have a five. So the five is gonna be our last number for number five. So the five, We'll go here, and we're doing the smallest. So it's going to start out the same as number one, one, three, four, and then it will go six, nine, five. One, three, four, six, five, nine. Number six, what is the largest six digit number you can make that ends in an even number? Do you know the secret of even number? You guys should know that one. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, those are all even number. So if it ends with a zero, two, four, six, or eight, it's a even number. If it's a one, three, five, seven, or nine, it's an odd number. So this is going to be an even number. So we only have one even, oh, two even numbers. So which one are we going to use, the four or the six? Well, we're trying to make the biggest, the largest six-digit number. 
So if we want the largest, then we don't want the six at the end. We want the six higher up because it's a bigger number. The four is the smallest even number that we have. So four is gonna go in the ones place. The four will go here. And then the rest of the numbers will go like number two was. So nine, six, five, and then a little switching around, three, one, four. I'm gonna hold up the answers so you can look at them. And then number seven says, use the number you wrote in problem six to answer the following questions. Circle the digit in the tens place. So what number is in the tens place in that number? I'm sorry, I said the totally wrong thing. In the ten thousands place, completely different. Circle the digit in the ten thousands place. And then write the number in expanded form. And I have not taught you this, but a lot of you lost, uh, learned it last year or before that. So what you do when you're writing, let me show you the answers for the first ones and then I'll explain. So here's the answers for one through six. In case I said it too fast and you couldn't hear, you can pause your screen if you need to. And then go back and check your work and find out why. The most important thing in math is understanding. If you got one wrong, you need to know why you got it wrong. When you write in expanded form, all you're doing is you're writing each number with zeros after it. So since the nine is in the hundred thousands place, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five zeros after the nine. And then for the six, you'll have four zeros. For the five, you'll have three zeros after. For the three, you have two zeros. So however many spaces there are here, these numbers just become zero. And you write it like a plus problem. So that is what it means when it says write it in expanded form. And they circled right here the ten thousands place for you. There you go. That's your math for today.